BMW has come up with a feature that nobody asked. They announced their new iX Flow car at CES 2022 that got everyone's attention because it can change its color. How cool that is, right? So I'm gonna tell you what technology is used, how it works, why BMW did that, and how this feature might become a danger. So this car can change its exterior color between black, gray, and white with a simple push of a button. Before I tell you why there are no other color options, let me tell you what technology is exactly used here. It is not a brand new concept, we've already seen this before on ebook readers. You get it, electronic ink. That is what exactly BMW has used here. So the e-ink uses a simple science that we've all studied in school days, electric charge. You know, there are two types of charges, positive and negative, and they work similar to magnets, that is, like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. So an e-ink panel consists of millions of charged microparticles whose diameter is typically the size of a human hair. And there are two types of ink particles, positively charged white particles and negatively charged black particles. And it also has a thin film and an electrode at either sides. So by applying a negative charge in the bottom electrode, the positively charged white particles get attracted to the bottom while the negatively charged black particles get repelled to the top and that's what user sees on the screen. Similarly, for white to be visible to the user, we can just uh, apply positive charge to the bottom electrode. And an e-ink display is not as power hungry as LCD or OLED displays because it requires power only when it has to change the content on the screen. For any idle content, it does not require any power at all and it can stay there like something written on a piece of paper. And unlike other displays, it depends upon the ambient light to be able to see what's there on the screen. Again, like paper and ink. By the way, if you want to see more of these ink readable tech stuff, then consider smashing that subscribe button. Anyways, why did BMW even bother about bringing this feature? The answer to this is customization. I mean, come on, who doesn't love to customize their belongings? But it has other benefits too. You can find your car in a parking lot easily by making the colors flicker between each other. And it can also help with temperature control because you know how black has the natural ability to attract heat easily. Oh, I'm wearing a black shirt. Kind of sweating. Imagine that you're stuck in traffic on a hot day, then you can change the color of the car to white to prevent the vehicle from heating up too much. Similarly, you can use the color black to preserve some heat during freezing winters. It has no other color options because e-ink generally has only black and white micro capsules. And there are some colored e-ink displays that use an extra RGB filter on the top of these black and white microparticles to produce colors. While a typical 10-bit LCD or OLED display can produce like 1 billion colors, an 8-bit display can produce like 16 million, an e-ink display can produce only up to like 4096 colors, which are not too vibrant. And because the colors they produce are too dull, when BMW use colors in these vehicles, then the cars will look like they were stolen halfway through the paint job. But tech is always subject to improvements. Let's see if someone can bring some new innovation to produce vibrant e-ink colors. But I think this new car feature has one alarming side effect. Imagine a police chasing scenario like what we see in movies. So having such an amount of control over the exterior color of the car, the criminals can turn into a different road and immediately change the color of the car to pretend like they've just disappeared. And what makes it even more alarming is, if they can extend this technology to number plates, then they can change the entire registration number and pretend like they're just a random group of friends going on a trip. But these are just my skeptical thoughts. Take it with a pinch of salt. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'm signing off.